Welcome to Supply Chain Management. In this video, we will learn what is supply chain management, why is supply chain important, and a brief introduction of supply chain in Indonesia. So let's start with what is supply chain management. I bought the watch I'm wearing while I was traveling a while back in Harrods London shopping center because the pound sterling was depreciating so I got a better deal than if I bought it in Indonesia. When I checked where it is manufactured, I found it is in Finland. So there must be a flow of process from manufacturers buying raw materials, producing my watch, storing it and distributing it until retail stores. Like watch, most of stuff we buy at retail stores or internet are going through several processes and places. Let's look at another example for pasta supply chain. Wheat is sown, grown, and harvested in Canada. It is then shipped to Italy. It is manufactured to pasta. It is then distributed across Europe using trucks and by ferry to UK. When it arrives at distribution center, it is stored and distributed to supermarket until finally the customers buy it. So supply chain management is a business network covering from buying, making, moving, warehousing to selling. It is transforming raw materials to final products and supply those products to customers. It involves suppliers, manufacturers, distributor, retailer. When I buy my watch, the price is the sum of all processes in supply chains plus the margin of profit. If I come to retail store with no stock of my watch model, I may buy other watch with similar features and within my budget. So the success of supply chain management depends on minimizing total cost of supply chains and satisfying customer service requirement. Supply chain management needs to one, right product. We must know the kind of products that we are going to make, handle and transport. Second, right place. The right product must be delivered to the right place we can implement systematic delivery system and tracking. Third, right place. Product is sold when buyers value it appropriate for the price. Fourth, right customer. We must know our target market to identify the right customer. Five, right condition. Every product must be stored and delivered with the right condition. This is where the specification must meet required facilities to maintain its quality. Six, right time. Time is very important. This is why every service provider must know the right time to deliver the product and in every efficient way. Seven, right quantity. Knowing and specifying the right quantity is important. Now we will see why supply chain management is important. It can be seen in two examples. While I was working in technology company in US during the boom time, I saw a lot of companies buying networking products from Cisco as one of the major players. Cisco made forecasting based on growth of the previous season. Cisco ordered in large quantity in advance to lock in supply of components during boom period. Cisco entered into long-term relationship with its manufacturing partner. Cisco never realized there is a gap in communication between Cisco and its supply chains. And then sales suddenly dropped 30% in quarter three, 2001. Cisco had to write off inventory worth of 2.2 billion. Cisco lay off 8,500 people. Now let's look at the video of Adidas. Adidas out with earnings today, saw a record year for 2018, but the sales outlook weighing on the stock. I had a chance to catch up this morning with CEO Casper Rorsted, asked about growth in the U.S. business and that surprise warning that came out today about a supply chain bottleneck weighing on the outlook. We've doubled the business in the U.S. in the last three years. And the more we move mid-price, of course, the volume has gone up. And we've not been able to build substantial or enough capacity in Asia to supply that market demand. Um, so that is on one side a fortunate situation because of demand profile, but of course for us it's quite irritating that we're not able to fulfill consumer demand because of uh, our lack of capability to find the appropriate capacity in Asia. Supply chain in Indonesia based on logistics performance index 
compared with other Southeast Asian countries, still needs a lot of improvement in custom, infrastructure, international shipment, logistic competence, tracking and tracing, and timeliness. President Regulations Number 26, Year 2012, had been issued to set blueprint for national supply chain management. Presidential Instructions Number 5, Year 2020, was a detailed timeline to implement national supply chain within its ecosystem. Now we see here in the pictures the national network logistics from villages to cities to island and abroad. There is integration necessity for domestic logistics and international connectivity. We need to set detailed procedures and standards for this to happen. These pictures displays the order of major seaports and domestic shipping routes. The blue dots are distribution centers in province, where the yellow ones are the regional distribution centers. The shipping routes are connecting those regional distribution centers and distribution centers in provinces. These pictures displays integrated transportation using hub and spokes. The goal is to achieve competitive price in quality delivering with timely manner. Train, truck, ship, and airline are used to be treated and regulated independently. This multimodal transportation system will change the old way of doing transportation. But we are still waiting when it can happen. See you in the next video.